<sighs> yeah, I can already tell this is going to be one of my shortest reviews ever on my channel because it's kind of hard to think about aspects of a movie that come to mind, either positive or negative, when I'm out here battling for my life not to fall asleep like I'm a character in the Nightmare franchise. I couldn't even be bothered with a cold open or anything like that because I just got home and I feel like my disappointment is hemorrhaging my creativity. A true snooze fest of a film. What's even more unfortunate is that I don't even know if I was in the majority or minority when it comes to this opinion. But what I can easily say is that I do know I was definitely in the hard majority when it came to, I don't want to say hype, but say the concept or premise of a movie such as Civil War given the current climate. As someone who pretty much just lives inside of a bubble with my friends, family, and city, it's still relatively fair to say no matter how far you attempt to distance yourself from the outside noise, the walls seem to be getting thinner and thinner with each passing day. And with social media, well, it becomes pretty inevitable for even an average citizen to hide from some of the problems facing America, no matter what side of the issue you stand on. But man, you would expect Hollywood to try to capitalize on that demographic of people that are invested in that aspect of America more than this. I mean, let's be real. Alex Garland's Civil War was one of the most bland, vanilla, lazy, and boring executions put to screen based on an interesting idea that I have seen in quite some time. With the main issue, and I would probably say the most important issue being, and I cannot reiterate this enough, being extremely safe with your premise. And while I don't want to make it sound like there weren't any good aspects to this movie, because I would be lying to you, the cinematography was fantastic, pretty understandable coming from an Alex Garland movie produced by one of the most prestigious studios in the game right now. The acting and casting choices were pretty spot on with actors being able to range from charismatic to tense to absolute terror. And the action set pieces, especially that third act, actually had me awake and dare I say, my actual attention. But even with all of that being said, it was still relatively obvious that the people in charge of even creating this movie in the first place, the people who came up with the idea of basing a Civil War movie in America in the climate we're in, were scared of their own premise. And it's a shame when you're too afraid of your own idea. But whatever, I can already tell some people are like, what are you yapping on about? That movie was awesome. A24 does it again, man. So let's just talk. The movie itself follows Kirsten Dunst's character. I don't really remember her name, but I know she's a video photographer who I'm just happy to see back on screen because honestly, I didn't even know Kirsten Dunst was even still in this game. With the rest of the crew rounding out as generic video game characters based on one or two basic traits that you choose as your playthrough character. You got Joel if you want to play through as a relatable charismatic type, Jesse, the young girl with aspirations, and Sammy, the old fart. Together, the Fantastic Four set out on their video game journey from New York to Washington, D.C. in order to get that last interview with the President of the United Forces before the Western Forces seize control, all while capturing, maneuvering, and sometimes engaging in the small battles that wage within the country. And that is pretty much the plot. See, to some of you, that summary of this snooze fest of a movie might not feel like I'm doing the movie justice, or that I'm being disingenuous for the sake of being disingenuous. But I assure you, that is not the case. As an audience member, by all means the studio literally asked you to do it, you are more than welcome to do your own homework regarding the reasons for some of the not-so-important questions regarding the narrative of this movie. Simple questions like, why is America in a civil war and how did America even get to this point? What is the end goal of any of these now separate territories? How were the territories even divided? What states are even in said territories? Are there other countries involved in said conflict? How are journalists allowed to be on the front lines of an actual siege? Why are California and Texas in an alliance? That's like asking my dog to make an alliance with my local squirrels. Yes, fellow audience member, these are elements and world-building aspects of the movie that are not answered in the movie, but instead you are treated to a playthrough of a beta test stage video game, engaging in side quests with absolutely 
no danger or stakes because you are the main character of said playthrough until you reach your final destination. And while usually through a playthrough, you would think that you would become more invested in said characters because you're on the journey with them, you are surely mistaken. With no real character traits, character motivations, or character growth to really latch onto, and as mentioned before, with no real world building, the only aspect that you're really left with and you have to ask your audience to engage with in order to pique their entertainment is the spectacle and narrative of said movie. And in this instance, both happen to go hand in hand. But in order to not ruffle any of the feathers when it comes to our current reality, Alex Garland and A24 fail to live up to the expectations in their fictional one. While the premise can and was based in reality, I've said it a million times and I'll say it a million times more, escapism is the name of the game when it comes to the audience. The best example I can compare this to is the movie 2012, an absolutely ridiculous and off the hinge movie based on an idea that the world was going to end because of the Mayan calendar or something. You just had to be there. My point is, is that the movie 2012 knew the assignment. And while some could argue that the subject matter revolving this movie is more of a sensitive topic, my answer to that is that don't make it if you don't have the balls to follow through on a single interesting idea. Instead of just treading water and walking around eggshells for two hours in a Chick-fil-A meal with someone's time and money. So with that being said, in a ranking system, or I guess you can say a grading system that is relatively new that eventually will not be new, we started this in 2024 and honestly, I would say it's going pretty solid so far. I would say go watch some of these other reviews even though you're just going to see where I rank them here, but I mean, you can still just go do your boy a solid. And man, this was extremely hard and I don't even want to say that this movie was mid and it sucks because I truly do want to give it an A for effort because of the cinematography and because of that last act, but I can't. This is a Toontown ass movie. It is what it is. I guess my opinions are subject to change. Of course, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. And if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I should say follow me on Twitter. I started a whole new account for this channel, so I'm going to start promoting that more. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you did enjoy, why not click on more while you're at it? Otherwise, that's all the words I got for you today. Bye.